Puerto Rico Part 2. Welcome back to Travel by Turtles. Now, if you've been following the channel recently, among all the different places we've passed by, you'll know Puerto Rico was on our list not too long ago. We visited the lovely town of Carolina and all of its beautiful beaches. Today, we're doubling back and visiting the small island just east of the mainland of Puerto Rico, Isla Palomino. Coral reefs, seagrass beds, and rocky coast marine life are abundant natural attractions on the island. Isla Palomino is the largest of the three private islands of PR, the other being Isla de Ramos and Isla de Lobos. The whole Palomino Island is owned by the descendants of Alberto Bachman Glauser. The story goes that Alberto made his fortune as the American plumbing representative to Puerto Rico. He ended up cashing out and buying the island in the 1930s for around $30,000. The El Conquistador Resort in nearby Fajardo is the only traveler's residence available on the island. Since the hotel has no beachfront, it rents out the land and provides the short ferry ride to its guests for their beach use. The hotel pays the island's owners 40 grand every month just for the ability to send their guests there. Now that is how you will and deal. On the south side of the island, you can actually see Palomino's little brother, Isla Palominito which literally means Tiny Palomino, a public island with no buildings. It's basically a sandbar, chilling in the middle of the ocean. Palominito is actually well known from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. In one of the many sequels, On Stranger Tides, Captain Jack Sparrow, played by the legendary Johnny Depp, tries to ditch Penelope Cruz's character Angelica on a deserted island. This is that deserted island, and all this island awesomeness is just a water taxi ride away from Puerto Rico, only about 20 minutes. Now, before we set sail, if the content today intrigues you enough to watch the whole thing, please let us know. Give the video a like and share it with the travel gang to show your latest discovery in future destination. And why not subscribe so you travel with us on our next one? And now, away we go. Palomino Island is a private island located off the northeast coast of Puerto Rico, and the El Conquistador Resort is the exclusive residence for travelers and tourists to come and relax their stress away. About 100 acres in size and accessible only by boat, which makes it a secluded and exclusive destination. When you visit Palomino Island and El Conquistador, there are plenty of activities that you can enjoy. Here are some of the top things to do on the island. Number one, of course, the beach. Palomino Island has a beautiful white sand beach, crystal clear waters, and plenty of space to relax and soak up the sun. You can go swimming, sunbathing, or rent beach chairs and umbrellas to make your stay even more comfortable. Adding to the experience, you can rent a bujillo, a one-room structure built with palms and thatched roofs, and be served cold margaritas to enjoy inside. But don't stay inside for too long because the warm turquoise waters are waiting for you to dive in, which brings us to the next on our list. Number 2. Water Sports The island offers plenty of water sports activities to enjoy. Kayaks and paddle boards are available to have fun in the water and get that upper body workout in as well. And with the crystal clear water, it makes an awesome spot for snorkeling and scuba diving. You can also rent jet skis or take a banana boat ride for some adrenaline-fueled fun. But one of the best experiences to take advantage of is the all-inclusive private boat tour. The passenger speedboat or plush sailing boat can take you to a private area of the beach with a bumping sound system going for the tunes. There's coral and tropical fish aplenty to check out with the provided snorkeling gear, appetizers, food, drinks, and an open bar all included. Number 3. Horseback Riding Palomino Island has a stable with several gorgeous steeds available to choose from. Explore the island's lush vegetation of the rainforest and breathtaking views of the surrounding ocean. The horseback riding tours are led by experienced guides who will take you through the island's trails and show you some of its most beautiful spots so you know you'll be getting only the best photo ops. Number 4. Nature Walks If the idea of giant animals controlling where you go scares you a bit, Hiking and exploring the island's flora and fauna is a safer way to get around. The island is home to a variety of plant and animal species, including iguanas, herons, and other seabirds. A guided tour will make sure you can get lost safely and still make it back in time for your much-needed spa treatment. Number 5. Pool, Spa, and Wellness After a long day of relaxing, drinking, exploring, and drinking, and you're ready to head back to the hotel, 
The pampering experience at the Resort Spa and Wellness Center is exactly what you need. There you can enjoy a variety of facial treatments, body massages, and wraps, the steam and sauna room, all available to help soothe your stay even more. And the pool is right outside, including the Koki Water Park. The Lazy River is always a great way to chill and float the day away, and the Infinity Pool overlooks the Caribbean Sea and Palomino Island. But if you really want to turn up, they have 253 feet of thrills and spills on the speed slide. With a massive vertical drop, Koki Water Park has everything for the family to enjoy a day in the sun. Now for the dads with that itch to hit the links and the clay, we gotcha next. Number 6. Golf and Tennis the El Conquistador Resort has a world-class 18-hole par 72 golf course designed by Arthur Hills, a masterpiece with elevation changes and breathtaking views of the sea, and is a challenge for golfers of all skill levels. They also have two hard outdoor tennis courts so you can serve up your race on a beautiful island getaway. And of course, last but not least, drum roll please, the food. But before I get to this last item on the list, let us know in the comments which activity you'll be heading to first when you head to Palomino. Number 7. Dining and Entertainment Palomino Island has several restaurants and bars where you can enjoy delicious cuisine and drinks. Risa's Courtyard Cafe, the resort's primary restaurant serving up local entrees like sancocho and churrasco, flavored mimosas for breakfast and wine by the glass for dinner. Cafe Bella Vista is the afternoon cocktail spot with a gorgeous balcony view of the sea and Bono, the Italian chop house whipping up gourmet dishes and prime cuts in a beautiful modern setting. You can also attend live music shows, dance parties, and other entertainment events organized by the resort. And the list is heavy. Volleyball, dominoes, water aerobics, arts and craft, bingo, hula hoop competitions, breakfast buffets, musical chairs, water games, even sandcastle making. Like, what more could you ask for? But with all that, I think our trip is now over. Let's head on home. Thank you so much for setting sail with us today on Travel by Turtles, where I showed you the amazing island of Isla Palomino and all the cool stuff you can see and do while you're there, whether solo, with friends, or the kids. Overall, Palomino Island is a fantastic destination for anyone looking to relax, have fun, and enjoy the beauty of the Caribbean. And if you want to know about even more spots to check out in the Caribbean, we've got a few videos that show you some of the best all-inclusive resorts, best beaches, and adults-only places all in the midst of the warm Caribbean Sea. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know where we go next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.